What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Wayne the Thrift Nerd. I am coming back with another video for you guys. Um, in this video, I am going to teach you how to clean leather boots and or dress shoes. Cowboy boots are really popular. Rain boots are really popular. This video will be specifically on how to clean leather boots. Okay, so if that sounds really interesting to you guys, if this is something you would like to learn how to do and really clean your listings up and make them pop, then please stick around until the end of the video. I will be showing you a before and after on the pair of boots that I plan on cleaning up. If you guys aren't already subscribed to my channel, please do so. You can do so by clicking the little um, icon in the bottom right corner of your screen. Uh, you can click that notification bell and then you will be alerted when I drop all these new videos for you guys. I drop new videos every Sunday. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram at thriftnerdigtv. The pair of shoes that we're actually going to clean up today are these really awesome Harley Davidson boots that I got. They were the thrift pick of the week last week, which is a reoccurring um, thing I do on my Instagram page. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Look at these. Okay. As you can see, they're kind of grimed out, but these are great boots. They've got this really nice icon here. They've got uh, Harley Davidson details all over the place. Um, there are some scratches and stuff on the one toe. We're not going to be able to do very much about that, you guys. Uh, even got some um, grime kind of on the bottom with a nice Harley stamp right here. So these boots will go for well over a hundred dollars and I got them for only $13. However, um, they definitely need some clean, right? And they're a little grimed out. So the first thing you really need to ask yourself when it comes to cleaning shoes and or boots is like, is it worth the time? The Harleys are a really good example of something that's worth the effort to clean up. If I listed them as they were now, one, I would feel terrible about doing that. And two, I would probably still get 30 or 40 bucks, but to put the time and effort into clean and polish these things up, make them look really nice, photograph them really nicely, um, I could easily get $100. So that's a, a good case of when it's worth doing this. So the first thing we're gonna go over um, is what you're gonna need. So I'm gonna lay out everything on my coffee table here, which is where I do all my shoe cleaning. We are now on coffee table view. As you can see, it's Halloween. I got some spooky tablecloth laid out here, you guys. Um, so here's what you need, okay? One, so we don't damage that super cool spooky tablecloth. We're gonna put down um, some brown paper here. This is just a roll, which I also use for packing uh, when I'm shipping items. These get I get these really cheap. If you had kind of like a garbage towel, you could also put that down. So I'm gonna put that down as a base. I also have um, just a, a bowl of water here. This is a special kind of cloth that, um, this is a, by a company called Norwex. You can see that that is the tag right there, Norwex. These are environmentally friendly and they have this really cool texture. And when you heat, when you combine this with hot water, it does miracles in cleaning up stains. Props to my girlfriend um, at Healing Garden Tarot for showing me the wonder of Norwex, you guys. If you guys are into tarot or you know someone who is, please check her channel out. She's super legit. In addition to that, I have a kind of just a regular rag. We are going to get this dirty. It's going to be grimed out. So this is just like a garbage rag. And my boots are black, so I have black shoe polish. This is Kiwi shoe polish. Um, this is just like a, a SC Johnson thing that I got at Walmart. There are some really good shoe polishes. Some of them even smell nice. So I would recommend that you get something quality. And the other thing is too, black is pretty forgiving you guys but if you are cleaning up like brown dress shoes for example you want to make sure that you test the shoe polish on the shoe to make sure it's actually going to like buff in the right color there's kind of like a spectrum for the the brown shades where it's black it's kind of a universal thing this is going to pop them right up you guys 
Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is I'm going to lay down my protective um, layer on top of the coffee table so we don't ruin this. And then I am going to start cleaning first with the water. Um, and then I will actually use this, only like one side of it, to dry the shoe. And then we're gonna go in and polish it, okay? And another item that I don't have shown here because it can really be anything that is like skinny um, would be like, I use actually use like a knife or a pick to clean the bottoms insides of the shoes. So like you can see here, there's not too much like stuck in here and actually I already kind of picked some of it out, but there were some like rocks and little pebbles stuck in the treading of the shoes. You wanna get that out kind of first, okay? And there is some of this kind of grime here. We're gonna clean these up as best we can. Um, I'm not gonna spend a huge, huge, huge amount of time. I'm gonna spend a good 15, 20 minutes cleaning these up to make them uh, presentable, but um, they don't have to be perfect, perfect, okay? That's the one thing about eBay, you guys. If you've tried to make perfect, perfect listings all the time, you're just gonna sink tons of time into um, you know, doing that one listing, whereas you can be listing tons of items and really get your sales rolling. All right, you guys, so um, my shoes are up here. We're ready to go. I've got my tablecloth, uh, my paper towel, I mean, covering up the coffee table so we don't make a mess. And I am just gonna go ahead and start using the Norwex cloth and hot water to give these a preliminary uh, wash. If your shoe is only a little bit dirty, and this would work for like tennis shoes or sneakers as well, just hot water and a nice cloth will work. Norwex I found is the best, but um, you can also use Mr. Clean Magic Eraser um, to clean shoes up. That works really well as well. Um, so I'm just gonna quickly start cleaning this with my uh, water and Norwex cloth here, and you guys can watch it happen. I will do one boot at a time. So here we go. Okay, you guys. So um, I did the first kind of layer of scrubbing on this. You can see that it already looks a lot better, right? So much better from the way it looked before. And I'm gonna do that to the other shoe as well and kind of get them prepped. Um, I will get in here and try and get in between all these little crevices on the bottoms. But again, I'm not gonna spend a ton of time on it. This already looks acceptable to me. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go on and do the next one right now. All right, you guys. So I just finished um, cleaning up the first shoe with just the hot water and the Norwex cloth. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that to the second shoe and I will not um, bore you guys with more video of me cleaning uh, another shoe in the same fashion, okay? And then after that, what I'm gonna do is I am going to get out the um, shoe polish and my gray rag, just the dirty rag, not the really good rag. And I am going to just loosely kind of make a circular motion in the polish just to coat the rag. And then I'm going to begin polishing the shoes in small sections doing circular motions, okay? Um, I will show you that video um, quickly just so you can see about how I do it. And then we can take a look at the uh, finished product, all right? Okay, you guys, so I am done rubbing on the shoe polish here. 
as you can see it looks nice there are a couple little spots maybe i will touch up like this kind of stuff down here might need a couple of layers but you can see these came out really good um, like i said the scuffs there as you see not too much you can do about that but other than that, I'm really happy with the way this looks. So here is, you know, what the polished sample looks like. And if you want a little bit of a comparison, here is what the unpolished sample looks like, right? It just is that much richer, darker, cleaner. Um, the other thing is too, there are shoe polishes that are available in matte and gloss finishes. So I chose a matte because I, uh, that's just kind of the look I like. Um, so I'll use a matte for these two. We'll clean this other pair up and then we'll be good to go, you guys. Okay, you guys, so we are done with the polish. I will just quickly kind of hold these up so you can see what they look like here. Um, I think they came out really nice. It's smooth. You know, like I said, couldn't get rid of too much of the scratches on the front there a little bit of grime on the suede which i didn't touch um but uh this looked pretty good i may touch this area up a little bit more but you can kind of get an idea of how nice that looks again here are the bottoms um they're not perfect but i'm going to leave them as is or i'll come in here and just try and touch up a couple of these little spots but compared to what we started with these look really good and i feel pretty confident putting them up for sale now so um, there you go, you guys. Just a little bit of water, a nice cloth or a Norwex cloth, um, hot water, dry them off, put a little bit of the shoe polish on. Again, if it's brown, you want to definitely test the brown in like, um, you know, a not noticeable area of the shoe before you put it on. But there you go, nice and easy. And uh, these look great. Thank you guys so much for watching. Wayne the Thrift Nerd. Again, I am dropping videos every Sunday. If you enjoy this kind of content or you have other videos that you would like to see in the future, please just shoot me a message, let me know, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel. Um, all right, until next time, Thrift Nerd signing out. Take care, have a good day, and thrift on you guys.